With millions of fans tuning in to watch games each season, the NFL has built a reputation for high quality competition and fairness. However, there has been numerous amount of claims that the NFL is rigged in that some games, particularly the Super Bowl, have seen very strange and questionable officiating decisions. Now throughout this video, I'm going to cover why many believe the NFL is not as fair as it seems, including many multiple questionable calls by refs over the years, alongside many weird occurrences throughout the season, as allegedly the script for Super Bowl 57 has been set up for the Chiefs and Eagles game, and it's something you need to see before the game begins. Leave a like on the video if you're excited for the Super Bowl. I'm curious how many football fans are watching today. Now with the Super Bowl being the biggest game of the entire season, the NFL wants to draw in as many eyes as possible for their biggest game, which is why many believe they rigged it to be the Chiefs vs Eagles. Now Patrick Mahomes is going to be the new face of the NFL, with many QB veterans retiring, he is going to be the one that brings in now the most attention as well as the money for the NFL. Patrick Mahomes' start of his career is actually looking very similar to Tom Brady's, as this will be his third Super Bowl start across his first five years in the league. There just also happens to be the strange coincidence of the two Kelsey brothers going against each other as another storyline as well. Now this comes just months after they launched their new podcast together as well, which is now the fastest growing podcast on Spotify. Both Kansas City and Philly's fan bases are huge across the country and will drive up more revenue. The Chiefs have been the top team in the AFC since 2019. The Eagles have been a huge storyline this season as well after being the team that went the longest undefeated during the regular season, but now taking us back to championship weekend. With the conclusion of the Chiefs versus Bengals matchup, nearly everyone across social media was sharing how this game was rigged for the Chiefs to win, as there was many controversial calls that were made during the game without a doubt put the Chiefs in a much better position. The NFL being rigged began trending all over social media. This is most notable from everyone mentioning the free third and nine play that the Chiefs were given. Now the Kansas City Chiefs ended up running a play on third and nine when the Bengals came up with a huge stop what was supposed to result in a fourth down. Now the referees came out, they said they didn't spot the ball correctly. Once the referee found out about it, it was already too late and the referee began trying to blow his whistle to call off the upcoming play. Still, the Chiefs ended up snapping the ball anyway as either no one could hear the ref's whistle or it just wasn't working. And this play left all fans watching completely surprised and confused of what was going on. During the moment, almost no one knew why the Chiefs were getting an extra try on third down. While the NFL and the refs did some sort of explanation for this, it still just leaves a bad impression as the refs should have figured out that before it was even snapped, as this was during a crucial part in this very important NFL game. Even in other parts of the game, there was also many plenty more questionable calls going on. In the very next play, where the Kansas City Chiefs tried the third and nine again, Eli Apple gets called for a holding penalty, which resulted in the Chiefs' first down, making it even look a little bit more scripted for Patrick Mahomes. There was contact between Eli Apple and MVS on the play, but it should have never even happened in the first place as the Bengals got their original stop on the first third and nine before the Chiefs got a free second try. And this might sound like I'm totally against the Kansas City Chiefs, but in reality, I'm actually a fan and I hope they win the Super Bowl this week. And if you do as well, leave a like on the video. Now, however, on the following drive, Joe Burrow would get the ball back and he would attempt to march down the field again versus the Chiefs to end the game. However, they ended up going to a fourth down and having to punt, but there was a clear no call on this drive where Joe Burrow gets rid of the ball and then gets roughed by Frank Clark after the ball left his hands. The Bengals end up getting the ball again with two minutes left. Joe Burrow gets called on an intentional grounding of all things during the most important down of this football game. Now, yes, you definitely could rule it as intentional grounding, but it just gives that feeling even more that the refs were purposely looking for any anything they could do to have a call against the Bengals to help them lose the game. And on the second last play of the game, when Patrick Mahomes runs and gets flagged for unnecessary roughness, many people were focused on the flag and they missed a clear no call by the refs again.
again. Before Patrick Mahomes took off for the scramble and run, Orlando Brown is seen holding, which he should have been flagged on this play. And on the NFC side of things, there are also similar concerns for the matchup between the Eagles and 49ers as well. Almost everyone's initial reaction to the NFC championship game was that it was quite boring, especially considering that both Brock Purdy and Josh Johnson ended up getting injured and they had to snap the ball to Christian McCaffrey a few times. Well, one of the 49 players anonymously told the NFL reporter Mike Silver as it was quoted, it felt like once Purdy got hurt, someone at the league called down and said, make sure the Eagles get to the Super Bowl and not them. During the entire game, some seriously bad calls continued going against the Niners, making it once again people feel like this game was scripted and that the NFL wanted certain teams in the Super Bowl. As there was a weak penalty to even a massive game-changing play with the massive one-handed catch by Devonta Smith that was ruled completed when after looking at it, he actually dropped the ball. In just all game, you could tell the refs were absolutely calling anything they could against the Niners. And again, I understand this is a sport, things happen. Calls get missed and bad calls get called. But at the end of the day, it is the NFL. You just have to sit back and enjoy. But this all stacks on top of the fact that former NFL player Arian Foster, he actually came out last month to mention how he used to get game scripts every NFL season detailing what would be happening each week and when they were supposed to win or lose and stated on a podcast that it is all rigged and scripted to fit what the NFL wants. And while it seems like Arian Foster was just joking about it, almost everybody started making jokes about this on social media. And it actually kind of makes you wonder at the end of the day, how easy would it be for the NFL to help sway a game one way or the other? Whether it would be just a referee, a player, things in that nature. Just one person involved in the game could actually make a huge change on the outcome such as maybe a running back fumbling the ball with a couple minutes left in the game. But while we're talking about all the NFL being rigged and scripted recently, there actually was an alleged script that went viral online leading up to this year's Super Bowl. And it was this photo here. Now this shows the Eagles beating the Kansas City Chiefs 37 to 34, including on how the scoring breakdown will go for each quarter of the game as well. Now almost how an official scoring book would look for the game after it is over. Tons of storylines going into the Eagles vs Chiefs Super Bowl matchup that has been built up over the season and would give reasons for the NFL to set it up as the Eagles vs Chiefs in a huge game. Not only are they both the number one seeds from their conference, but as we mentioned, Patrick Mahomes draws the absolute most attention. The Kelsey brothers face off against each other while also growing and creating the biggest podcast right now on streaming services, as well as how Andy Reid used to coach the Eagles. Eagles, so it's a big matchup for him as well. This game is truly set up to be a masterpiece of a Super Bowl, and we're just gonna have to see how it plays out. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's been District Football, and I'm out. Peace.